Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about the 16 ebooks that I ended up downloading in the month of March. I did end up downloading 16 books. I think around half of them are off of KU. So we're going to be doing those first, and then I'll be going into the books I got for free. The first KU book that I have to talk about is Alpha by Tia Rain. So her and here Morgan, she is stuck in an abusive, loveless marriage, and she also has a speech impediment. She ends up getting kidnapped from her home and taken to a private military base to become a test rat for a science experiment. But things change when Morgan meets Alpha. She should be afraid he isn't quite human after all. Alpha is a genetically enhanced super soldier and Morgan has been captured to bear his offspring. Morgan finds that Alpha isn't the real monster behind those confined walls. They are both captives of the insane scientist, Dr. Ryder Strong. It's a short warning, there is some graphic scenes of violence, so just be aware. Get me a kidnapping romance. Like the two of them better fall in love with each other, obviously, so. Um, maybe they like help each other during this time period when they're both captives. Like that sounds amazing. Next I have Jackie and the Giant by Honey Phillips off of KU. I've been loving Honey Phillips books and I just had to get this one. This is a part of her like fairy tale retelling books. I think she wrote more books in the series. I don't know, but this is obviously a Jack and the Beanstalk retelling. Regine Abel wrote like a Hunchback of Notre Dame book. Amanda Milo wrote Contaminated, a part of the series. Tiffany Roberts wrote the Alice in Wonderland book. Okay, 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 okay. So um, other books in the series were written by other authors, but I haven't read like a Jack and the Beanstalk retelling. So I'm excited. I just love Honey Phillips' writing. Like I'm totally into it. Next, I ended up downloading Taken to Nobu by Elizabeth Stevens. I also got this book off of Audible. Um, I'm going to be listening to this. Um, I think I might be better reading the rest of these books with like Tiffany um, because we just really loved book one. <laughs> so um, whenever she wants to read book two, I'm going to pick it up too. Um, but I thought it would be interesting to listen to the audiobook and then read it at the same time because there are some of these words like I don't know how to pronounce. And so I would love to see how the author like translates it to audio format. So I didn't really do that for book one because book one, I just read it as an ebook. I don't really know how they were supposed to be pronounced, <laughs> some of these words. Um, so I'm excited to figure that out when I read it. But this is the second book in an alien romance series. I love number one. This one, number two, is going to be about um, Kiki and uh, like a prince warrior. So I'm excited. Next, I have Monsters Nanny by Athena Storm. Monster and nanny. Yes. <laughs> so her heroine in here ends up getting caught, I think, on this alien planet. She gets trapped in like an animal snare in like the woods or something. And these two girls end up finding her and bringing her home and ask their dad to keep her as a pet. <laughs> and then I think they realize like she's not a pet. But I was actually a little confused because the girls on the cover look like humans. So are they not humans? Are they aliens? I don't know. So we'll see. On KU, I also downloaded Craving His Mate by A.G. Wilde. This is the second book in this series revolving around heroines who are a part of the disabled community. Um, they have disabilities and these alien heroes coming to rescue them from being kidnapped from people. Um, I read book one. I don't want to read the summary for book two because I don't want to be spoiled, but um, I really enjoyed book one and I hope to love book two as well. I believe this one's about Trudy who um, is a wheelchair user. So um, that's the rep I think is in this one. So I'm excited. Then I ended up downloading Shifter God by Meg Zulmex. I don't know how to pronounce that. I am so sorry. Um, but I saw this cover and just had to get it. Okay. The summary for this one says, the alpha air finds me broken, bruised, and with no memory. How fortunate I am that he is my fated mate. Then he rejects me for another, but his wolf still wants me. He locks me up, tries to control me, and tries to force me to be his again. But I know a secret. Someone much stronger, more powerful is coming for me. My beautiful vampire god and he destroys anyone who stands in his way. So I don't know if she's supposed to be with this wolf or if she's supposed to be with this vampire or with both. I don't know, but I am very intrigued. I thought this was like a like rejected mate romance. I don't know. 
I don't know, but I'm very interested. I'm currently reading this book. This is Hush Darling by Avery Kingston. Um, I do own a physical copy of this book, but I just found it easier to get it off of KU and listen to it. A heroine in here is an abusive marriage and she ends up finding out she's pregnant and she decides to run away, fake her death. And um, I think she drives away when it's like really badly snowing outside. And she ends up crashing her car near these cabins. And turns out that's where Tanner lives, our hero. And he is deaf and he helps her in her like situation. I'm really liking it so far. I'm almost done with it. So that'll be in my like April mid month wrap up if you want to check that out. But um, I am currently reading this one. We're going to be getting into the free books that I ended up downloading in March. First is Scarlight by Evie Maraku. I'm butchering that, I'm sorry. This is available to download on Kindle Unlimited if you're interested. So this is about Bryn, who's a princess. Princess, a princess. And as a child, she was saved from a wolf attack by a prince from a rivaling kingdom and left both of them heavily scarred. Rangar's people believe that a life saved is a soul owned. And 10 years later, Rangar returns to claim his prize, which is Bryn. So she's taken to Rangar's wild kingdom. Bryn slowly finds beauty in the harsh outlands and there she discovers magic is not the sin she's always led to believe as she learns the full truth of her family's tyrannical rule and plans to take back her kingdom by the sword or marriage, Bryn falls under the spell of each of the three royal brothers. Oh, whoa, it says that this is a dark fantasy romance inspired by Goldilocks and the three bears. What? With enemies to lovers and faded mate tropes. It also says the series begins as a young adult book and then moves into a new adult and later books as the steam level rises. Goldilocks and the Three Bears were yelling? Like, what? Was not expecting that. Next, I ended up downloading The Footman and I. The Footman? Footman and I. This is currently available to download for free still. Okay, the tagline for this one says, she thinks he's a footman. He's really an earl and hijinks ensue. It says, every fortune hunting female in London is after the newly entitled Earl of Kendall, but he's intent on finding a wife whose heart is true. So while drunkenly jesting with his friends in a pub one night, he has an idea. What if the ladies of the ton didn't know he was a wealthy Earl? All he has to do is pose as a servant at his friend's summer country house party and make sure that the guest list is full of beautiful eligible debutantes. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> that one sounds like a recipe for an amazing time. I am into it. Next, I have The Assist by Rebecca Jenshack. I just saw Rebecca Jenshack's name and immediately downloaded it. This is still available to download for free. This is a college sports romance. This one's about Blair and Wes. Okay, so it looks like she's a sorority girl. He's a basketball player and he's actually going to be her tutor in st statistics. There you go. But they don't really get along, I guess. I don't know. We will see. Next is If I Break by Patricia Moore or Wrecked, I guess. Um, this is still available to download for free. Fresh off a broken heart, I met Cal Scott. He was just what I lacked, a beautiful distraction. A six foot two with ebony hair, storm gray eyes, and a smile that could hide an agenda. I knew he was trouble. And for the first time in my life, a little trouble was just what I needed. No, what I wanted. It wasn't like I'd ever marry the guy until I did. What I thought would be my happily ever after was only the beginning. My husband has a secret, one that makes loving him come with a price. And being his wife cost more than I bargained for. Very interesting. Next is Warrior's Bond by Emma Allison. Allison? <laughs> this is the first book in an alien romance series and is still available to download for free. Okay, the tagline for this one says, alien warrior Benyon's bonding tattoos flare when he meets single mom Zoria. According to the treaty, she's his for the taking, but he still has his honor. He'll woo her first and lift his sword to prove he's a worthy mate. That's so cute. So this is a sci-fi alien warrior romance featuring genetic faded mates, a feisty single mom, high conflict, low angst. Ooh, and it takes place in like a dystopian earth setting. Sign me up. Next is Key to the Dark by Alexa Michaels. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited. So our heroine in here ends up going to an island or something. I have no clue. And she gets attacked by a bunch of monsters, but then a dangerous man leapt from the night to defend her. Things happen, I guess. I don't know, this cover was very interesting. I saw it was for free, I downloaded it. If it talks about monsters, I'm gonna read it, so. Next I have Kiss of the Blood Prince by Alessa Thorne. This is also available to download off of KU. 
I saw Alyssa Thorne's name and downloaded it. I think I've read one or two of her books and really liked it. Elise thought her biggest problems were her crap job and lack of love life. But when a pissed off Faye Prince attacks her train and she's taken as his slave, her problems are only just beginning. Prince Kian has spent years planning his revenge and he's going to take more than one infernal female to stop him. It doesn't matter that the desire burns between them and that she could be the key to saving him. The bloodlines who betrayed him will suffer his wraths, even if it kills him. Kian needs her blood to break the curse that's destroying him. Elise needs to break his curse to win her freedom. Once a bargain is struck with the Fae, there's no breaking it. But will her freedom be worth it if she loses her heart and condemns England in the process? Interesting. This is an adult paranormal romance that contains graphic violence, swearing, and certain scenes. <laughs> Next, I have Only You, which is, I think, like a compilation of romances. This is on KU right now. There are three stories in here. Naughty and Nice, Change of Heart, and Suddenly Wed. I think I downloaded this because one of them has, like, the amnesia trope. So that's all I know, and the cover looked pretty. So <laughs> when I see a free book that even, like, sparks my attention, like, a little bit, I'll get it, okay? <laughs> and the last book that I'm going to talk about today is The Mountain's Mate by Sarah Ivy Hill. This is currently available to download off of KU if you're interested. When Patrek, a giant scar alien, hires a human for a covert mission, he doesn't expect a female to take the gig, nor does he expect his long dormant mating instinct to ignite for someone so tiny. When the heist goes awry and they're forced to hide out together until the heat dies down, the close quarters reveal that though they're vastly mismatched in size, their hearts are perfect fit. To escape with his freedom, Patrek must flee the city. But leaving her behind will break him. Can he convince her to join him in the mountains and take a monster as her mate? That sounds so good. Like that's like sounds like a forced proximity romance. I love love forced proximity, especially if it's alien or monster romance. Yes. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all of the books that I ended up downloading in March. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a mountain emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.